Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just into February. We're in the colder months, which in Utah this year, it's been a weird year. This is usually when we get all of our winter weather, um, but we're actually warmed up. We're raining out there right now, um, but it's still relatively cold. I've got the wood stove cranked up. It feels nice in here. We're probably pushing 90 degrees in here. Um, which is probably why you guys are interested in camps. You want to be able to be warm, cozy, all that stuff. If you want to go in the colder months, um, anything like that. And so we love the wood stove, right? It's a game changer. But one of the downsides to it is like right now, I have my thermostat turned on for my furnace. But as you can hear, the, the furnace isn't running. And so those of you that have opted for the heated tank options, whether it was just the enclosure with heat ducts plumbed into them, or whether you got the electric heating elements on them as well. We offer a bunch of different options as far as heating your tanks. But in the winter, the majority of you are probably going to be using your wood stove. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is you don't have any air circulating. No air being plumbed into those tanks um, if that furnace isn't running. So I'm not saying that we don't want to use the wood stove, right? Because that's probably why you bought the camp is you wanted the wood stove. What I'm saying is we have now come out with a way that we can utilize the heat from the wood stove to be able to not only distribute the air better in the camp and keep everything at a, a manageable um, temperature, but we also want to keep that hot air in those tank enclosures to keep those tanks warm. Even if you do have the heating elements and everything on your tanks, you can use those and it's great, but they do draw a lot of power. And so if you're trying to conserve battery power, um, say you get a lot of overcast days where your solar's not producing a lot, um, you're going to want to conserve that um, battery power. And so we need to be able to utilize the heat from the wood stove because let's face it, that's the kind of heat we want, right? We want to build a fire. We like the, to be able to sit on the recliners, watch the fire, watch the snow fly outside. Um, it's just very enjoyable. So we've come out with a way that we can utilize that to make the camp more efficient, um, to keep them tanks warm, keep air flowing especially, I mean, like your bathrooms, it's kind of closed off, even though know, there's heat registers and stuff in there. If you're running the wood stove and that furnace isn't running, you're not getting any warm air in there. And so that's kind of what we're gonna go through today. I'm gonna show you our ductwork, why we do things the way that we do them, and what we've done now to, like I say, utilize that heat from that wood burning stove. So stay with us. <laughs> at one of our camps that we're just getting ready to get the floor put on it. So as you can see, we've got our duct work that runs all the way up the camp. And this is set up individually for each camp so that you get the best airflow and everything that you can. So we've got our three quarter inch foam board and then it's got a quarter inch air space below it for extra R value to keep that air warm as it circulates through the camp. A lot of your heat is going to be lost through your floor and your ceiling, especially if you're not skirted and where we want you to be able to use these camps year round. Um, we kind of take that extra step to make sure that that air stays warm as it circulates through the camp. But if you're getting the heated tank cover, if that's the option you want, I mean, there's different options, whether you get the heated pads or just the tank cover, what we'll do is we'll end up punching holes down through our ductwork up here towards the front 
that will drop down into that tank cavity and keep warm air down in that tank cavity to keep them tanks warm. So that's where that circulation fan is going to come into play is a lot of times in the winter, a lot of you are gonna be using your wood stove. And if you're using that, obviously you're not gonna get air flowing from your furnace just because your thermostat's going to be satisfied. So by turning that circulation fan on, we can pull warm air from that wood stove and pump it through all of your duct work and into those tanks keeping a lot more even temperature in your camp as well as keeping those tanks warm. So this will make a little more sense to you why we want to circulate air. So we're just getting ready to put the heated tank cover on this camp. Okay, so what it's gonna be is it's gonna be an insulated enclosure and then we've got heat ducts that come down into it. Okay, if you're planning on using your camp in the cold months, um, we want to get heat into here and if you're using that wood stove you're not getting heat into here so we need to circulate the heat from the wood stove to come down into these tanks to keep these tanks warm so that's the purpose behind it is we just want to be as efficient as we can with the heat sources that you want to use so now that you've seen how we do our duct work and everything i'm going to explain to you why that we're doing it this way so as you can see in this one I've got my wood stove, it's cranking, it's hot in here. We're probably, uh, we're pushing 90, I bet, in here. Okay, I've also got my thermostat is on, but it's been satisfied. So what this means is like, if you're using it in the winter and the colder months and you're running your wood stove and your furnace in combination, chances are your thermostat's gonna be satisfied. What that means for those of you that have heated tanks, and it's not just for the heated tanks, um, it's just to keep the, the air flowing through the camp, is if that's satisfied, there's no fan blowing, there's no heat being pulled or pushed or anything into like your bathroom, into your heated tank enclosure, um, any of that. So. Even though, I mean, some of you might have the heated tank switches for the heating elements. Um, those are all great, but they do draw a lot of power. So if we can utilize the heat that's already present in the camp, that's what we want to do. Conserve those batteries, um, just make it more efficient. And so, like I said in the previous um, parts, we've installed a way that can allow us to circulate air through the camp utilizing the heat from the wood stove. So I probably should have brought something to where you could see that, but we're blowing through all of our vents now. So we're circulating that air that um, is warm from the wood stove and we're circulating it not only through the camp, but we're also um, forcing air down into that tank enclosure to allow them tanks to stay warm. So I think it's a game changer. Um, makes, it, makes it a lot more usable in the colder months. Um, a lot less to worry about because like I say, everybody loves to use the wood stove, but the downside to it is you can't circulate that heat. But we now have a way that we can do that to where it makes it a lot more manageable to stay in them really, really cold times. You can turn that fan on and force air around, circulate it, keep a more um, evenly distributed airflow. So anyways, kind of cool. Um, like I say, we're always pushing the envelope, trying to improve our products. If there's things that you guys think that we could do to, to make the product better, we'd love to hear about them. Um, we love hearing about your ideas. And yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, hit that like button. There's more of this coming.